Hey YouTube, Vic with High Desert Man and it is time for episode two of Subscriber Shorts. This one today coming from my buddy Adam Stevens, a good friend of mine who has sent me a number of cigars. I've sent him a number of cigars as well, but we, uh, we keep trading back and forth. He picked up a new cigar from El Artista. I don't know how new it is, I, I just found out about it. It's called the Buffalo 10, we're gonna do it now. Right, the Buffalo 10 in a box press Toro, and I would call it more of a trunk press because it is very much wider than it is uh, thick. It comes from El Artista Cigars, the same company that did the Big Poppy, which I reviewed recently. I'll put a thing up in one of the corners. 64%. From El, El Artista's website, it says it is a study in the art of making cigars. And I'll get into why this is a special cigar in just a moment. We've got some new subs. Sailboat Midnight, very cool name. And Ken Coop. And I thought there was a third one in there. I must have forgot the third one. All right, dry hay and barnyard off the cold draw. Nothing off the body. A little cinnamon chocolate on the foot and barnyard. The makeup of the cigar is wrapper Mexican San Andreas, binder Dominican Negrito, and apparently or supposedly according to their website that is a rare tobacco, Dominican Negrito. And then uh, filler Dominican Republic, Colombian, USA and, Domin and uh, Nicaragua. It's been a little while since I had a cigar with a good country mix in the filler, so I'm kind of excited about this. The cigar The cigar can be purchased in singles or five packs that are sort of uh, brown paper bag wrapped. These babies come in at $3.50 a piece. All right, stick around. I'll be back when I get into the first third. It's pretty gritty and earthy right now. A lot of, lot of spice, a lot of pepper, a lot of uh, uh, like some chili powder, and just kind of a gritty texture in the mouth. Pretty good flavors though. It's pretty good San Andreas wrapper on there. Yeah, right now just sort of a gritty earthiness, fairly rich earth, and uh, pepper and chili powder and, and uh, just heavy that gold one, flavors. The first one you picked up, that's a cigar rest down, down the side of it. Oh, right. That's okay. what it's for. It. it also feels good on your thumb, too. It, it tilts out a little way. Yeah, so you can, well, that's kind of nice. Okay. I've, I've, done, I've done a couple cigars with that already. It's, it, I like it quite a bit. But, but you can't get fuel into it. The nipple on the bottom, there's something weird with it and it won't push down so that you can get fuel into it. It, it, took, me, it took me forever to get the tiny little amount that's in there right now, so I'm not gonna give that one away to anyone. The boys were amped. Freaking amped. Yeah, when you showed up. I can't wait to see the truck with the... Oh, that looks cool. The thing on there. Mickey is barking. Mickey! I want a dog to be a buddy. I want a dog that will want to go play, good nature, someone that I can have. Rocky was the perfect dog, dude, no, in Bob every way. No, Bob and I just way. talked about this the other day. We, I love Rocky. Absolutely. Yeah, but I don't want to go out with a bunch of other people. I want to go out by myself. No, see, Rocky was perfect. That's yeah. your problem. That's where, we, well, not your problem. That's where we differ because I like, I want a dog that I can have people over the house and not have to stash the dog in the back room because he's going to attack grandma during freaking Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever. You remember that? When he went through the, he went through the window, came in through the back door and attacked. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. He almost killed him. <laughs> he didn't almost kill him. He almost killed Aubrey twice. All right, guys, not a lot to report into the second third here, uh, or almost through the second third. Um, 
the grittiness and the pepper has died down a little bit, but the flavors are essentially the same. Now, this is only going to be for people who are into a bold, spicy, um, there's not a lot of heat, but it's just a gritty spice to it. It kind of reminds me of the Crown Heads Court Reserve without some of the depth of flavor. Without a lot of the depth of flavor. We'll be back in the last third. Uh, I'm gonna quit about now. I'm starting to get a lot of ammonia out of this. Um, it's, it's just starting to get real bitter and everything. Up to this point, this cigar is pretty darn good. A later in the day smoke, uh, and I would even say something uh, good after a, a good heavy meal. It didn't seem real strong to me. Uh, I, I didn't get any kind of nicotine kick or anything like that. It's just real bold, gritty, earthy, peppery flavors. It's really starting to get kind of bitter and I'm getting quite a bit of ammonia. Yeah, I, I'm... It's kind of weird. It, it, it just came on suddenly. It was real good until all of a sudden I just started getting ammonia. Now for a little bit that's what it's been, but not a bad smoke. Adam, thank you very much, buddy, for sending that to me. All right, so let's go over the rating. Construction, 3.5. Burn was a 4. Flavor, 3. Body, 3.5. Transition to price is a 5. That brings the total score to 3.5. Take it for what you will, guys, and until the next one, stay rugged.